What is up everyone? My name is Tony. Welcome back to my channel where I react to K-pop. If you're new here, welcome. Hope you enjoy my reaction. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing. It definitely helps me out. You can also feel free to follow me on Instagram and or Twitter if you are interested. Links are down in the description. I always follow back. And yeah, other than that, we are back with some ace. Um, so I said last time that I wanted to get to like music that I haven't listened to yet. Um, and I think two of the major songs that I still haven't gotten to yet is I Feel So Lucky and So Sick. Um, so we're gonna get to those today, and then I know there's, like, some Japanese releases that I need to get to as well. So that's gonna be my goal, um, soon to get to those as well. Um, what else? Um, also, I think I'm going to start extreme ace soon um i don't know if i'm gonna do that next reaction probably i probably will i'll probably start extreme ace next reaction and then the reaction after that i'll get to like the japanese releases i think that's what i might do if that's okay with you guys um because a lot of you guys requested extreme ace so i'm definitely definitely down to watch it um what else is there anything else I can think of um I'm seeing like everyone get their light sticks and I'm like so jealous I don't know if mine's come in or not if it has it's at my mom's and she never told me that it came in um but yeah I'm still I'm still waiting for my light stick um but I'm excited I cannot wait so when it comes to when it comes to my reaction today, I have um, the I Feel So Lucky official video. Um, I am not familiar with HQ. Is that how you say his, his name? I'm not familiar with HQ. Definitely curious to see what the song's going to be about. Um, so I have the music video, um, the lyrics, to do, do, and then their do do do. It looks like a performance they did at a concert um in Tokyo and then getting into so sick lyrics and then um their performance on simply k-pop and then um this part change it looks like they did it at like a fan meeting or something I can't tell that's what it looks like so they did a do 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 yeah they did a part change so I'm very interested to see that as well um but yeah I'm I also like am trying my best to like kind of backtrack and get to things that I didn't get to before um like I literally have I literally have like a whole list of like things that I still need to get to like like, I haven't gotten to, like, do it like me, part change version, or I never watched Favorite Boys, like, Halloween version, or, like, things like that. So, yeah, there's, like, still a bunch of stuff that I have to backtrack and get to. Um, so, definitely also be on the lookout for that. Um, yeah, there's, there's honestly, like... There's so much. There's so much I need to get to. It's not even funny. Um. So yeah, I will try my best to. Also, I was thinking I also would not mind doing like um, like if I can find the time doing like a Twitch live and watching some videos too, instead of me just like reacting to it, but like actually going like live and like just watching videos with you guys. I don't know. Also a possibility. 
I honestly do want to be better at going live more often. Um, I like, I like wasn't the savviest when it comes to Twitch. Like, I never really knew how it worked, but I finally had the time to like actually sit down and like watch like tutorials on like how Twitch works. So I've gotten a lot better. <laughs> My freaking chair keeps going down. Okay, anyway, sorry. Um, so I've gotten a bit better at kind of learning Twitch and like figuring Twitch out. So I want to try to make more time on the weekends if I can to, um, go live and stuff. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm so tired. Um, but anyway, I'm excited I also cannot get my words out. I'm excited to hop into these two songs. <laughs> um, anyway, I feel so lucky, official video. Okay, Junie. I'm not gonna lie to you, like, I'm not gonna lie to you, like, just like full on, full on being honest. I think this is my least favorite haircut that I've seen on Dong Hoon. It just does not suit him very well. Just saying. <laughs> it's not my favorite. I'm not saying it looks bad, it's just not my favorite. So, so, does HQ even have any lines in the song? Is he, is he just, like, the, like, one who, like, made the beat of the song and the lyrics? And just has Ace singing it? I'm very curious. I don't know who he is, so I'm, I'm just curious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like the beat. I like the beat a lot. I can't get over <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting but I definitely was not expecting this <laughs> like, <laughs> oh I definitely like oh I definitely like need because I'm not I'm not full-on paying attention to what they're singing because I'm just like watching the music video but I definitely will like read the lyrics and be even more shook probably Junie is out here though <laughs> like <laughs> I can't I like the beat a lot though I like the beat of the song Yeah. <laughs> 
I just. <laughs> June, he's just out here like showing it off, dude. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I thought that's what that said. <laughs> I laid you. I, uh, who's, who's this HQ person? Like, I genuinely am curious because I honestly don't know. DJ HQ. I like the beat a lot. And I'm assuming that he's a French producer. Oh. I'm assuming that he was the one that wrote the lyrics too. I definitely like the beat a lot. Like, for, like, for sure. I loved it. <laughs> yeah, I find that interesting that, yeah, he's French. With a Korean K-pop group doing a song in English. <laughs> I love that, though. That's awesome. It, it was just... <laughs> I don't know. Like, <laughs> you, John, with that line about... Because you're sexy. Junhee with, like, the dancing and his, like, stomach out. Like... <laughs> I just... I didn't know what to, to expect, but it was not that. It was not that. <laughs> I loved the beat, though. I really did. <laughs> I don't know if I want to dive more deeply into the lyrics or not, but, you know, I already have the lyrics up, so might as well, I guess. <laughs> Honestly, the beginning of the song is reminding me of another song. I feel like I'm thinking of a Drake song. I feel like I'm thinking of a Drake song, but I can't think of what song it is. I, I'm like, I'm like, like hearing it in my head, but I can't remember the name of the song. I don't know if you guys know what song I'm thinking of, but the beginning beat of the song reminds me of that song sorry <laughs> so like so i just i also think that they're saying walking in the <laughs> like <laughs> sorry moving on <laughs> What? <laughs> what? So they don't know what he's saying. Hold on. Let me, let me. I definitely don't think it's Predator. It kind of does sound like he's saying creator. It could be Greeter. I really love when you touch me. Oh, yeah. You could do what you like with my body. I would do what you want because you're sexy. Feeling you. <laughs> I missed that first part of the lyric. I heard him, I heard him say, because you're sexy, but I missed the first part of that. <laughs> you can do what you like with my body. Oh. Because you're sexy. Feeling you have become like my heart.
I love the beat though. <laughs> To be honest though, like it's not like it's not like Ace hasn't kind of made music like this before. It's just usually in Korean. So like, you know what I mean? Like you don't I it's easy to like forget what the song's about because it's in another language, you know what I mean? <laughs> Sorry. Why'd you have to do saying dirty like that with the R words? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I was wondering what he was saying there. Like, and I'm not, I, like, please don't come for me. Like, I'm not saying that, like, it doesn't sound bad or anything. I just, it was hard for me to understand what he was saying. Just, frankly, because of his accent. And I full on do not expect perfect English, like, from K-pop artists. Like, I just, I don't. Like, honestly, like, he's, he's did it pretty well considering, like, how much, how much Korean struggle with R words. Like, he honestly did pretty well. I just love the like flashing lights too. <laughs> it's like, let's rave. <laughs> I just can't get over the line. I laid you in my land or something like that, whatever. I'm trying my hardest not to be turning minded here. I'm sorry, but this song was absolutely meant for like dirty mindedness. <laughs> yeah, I released the official lyrics. Is there an official lyric somewhere? It's happened now. I'm out of trouble. Take it easy. I'm a. I'm a greater. I really loved you. Okay, okay. Why'd the MV get taken down? Oh, so that's why the MV was like re uploaded. It's on HQ's YouTube, though. I like the song a lot, though. Um, I like the song a lot, though, but it, yeah, I just, I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> I wasn't expecting such like a dirty song for sure. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I like the song. I'm, I'm not prepared to watch a live version of this song. <laughs> I'm not prepared. Oh, no. Uh... 
I'm not prepared to watch a live version of this. I'm okay. Sorry. Let's go. Let's do it. Judy, what are you doing to Sane's stomach? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Judy is totally, like, he totally feels himself with this song, and I love it, but at the same time, like, I'm just like, <laughs> dear God. <laughs> <laughs> Dong is getting it too though like <laughs> I also love that this was Sayun Thick Thighs era. Thick Thighs Save Lives. <laughs> <laughs> I love the song a lot. I really do, but oh my god. This freaking chair is annoying the fuck out of me. Sorry. Anyway, um I just like June, he just cracks me up. Like he feels the song so much, and I think it's so funny. <laughs> He's cool. <laughs> Sorry, somebody else made a comment about Sayu's thighs, and I'm like, yeah, I'm here for it. <laughs> I love it. Thick thighs save lives, y'all. They really do. Okay. I, I didn't know what to expect with that song, but to be honest, like, it was good. It was good. I like the beat a lot. Some of the lyrics are, like, but it's not bad. Like, not in a bad way. I don't mean that in a bad way. Um, I just didn't know, <laughs> didn't know what to expect. Um, but I do, I do think it's really fun that, um, you know, a French creator, music producer, I guess, was able to connect with, you know, a K-pop group and create a song in English. Like, I just, I do love that. Like, that's really awesome. Okay. Moving on. Pause. Sorry. Pause. Uh, moving on to So Sick.
Sorry, I was ex- like, I wasn't expecting like the change. I full on thought they were about to go off. <laughs> I full on thought they were about to go off about like the shitty relationship, but then, but then Dong Yoon came in with the feels, and I was not prepared. Yeah, I was not expecting that. Sorry, sorry, not Dong Hoon. Yujan came in with the sorry. Yujan came in out of nowhere with the like soft like, <laughs> and I was like, what? Sorry. Stop. Pause. I oh, <laughs> I think I think it's funny that I'm listening to this song right now. I so not like not. I feel this song not in a romantic context, but in a friendship context. Um. So I think it's really funny because I'm literally about to move and like remove myself from a situation so <laughs> I think it's funny that I'm listening to the song right now um but anyway I have th- I have this friend that I've been friends with since college so it's been a, like a 10 year like a 10 year friendship um and 
with I would say like within like the past year or so things have kind of been like going downhill and very much like the lyrics have said like I feel like we live together by the way we, we like we've lived together on and off like throughout our 10-year friendship um but I don't know I just feel like the past year like like something has changed and I don't really know what it was but um I feel that this individual has become very self-absorbed and only thinking about themselves and like very much like the lyrics were saying like you know you only love yourself um <laughs> so that's why that's why I was like making those faces during the song because like <laughs> I I get the song 100% but yeah anyway I I feel like this friend of mine just like only cares about themselves and you know hasn't really put effort into our friendship in a long time and um like it's gotten to the point where I'm like kind of sick and tired of them <laughs> like I'm very I'm very looking forward to like moving out and not being in this situation anymore um because it sucks like it sucks whenever you have someone you consider your best friend and someone that you've had in your life for 10 years you know like it feels like they don't care about you anymore or it feels like they don't appreciate you know your friendship that you have with them um it's upsetting it really is so like yeah I was just I'm just feeling these lyrics an extra lot today <laughs> like I don't know because I feel like even though even though you know they're probably talking about a relationship in the lyrics like I I think I think you can connect it to you know different relationships in your life not just not just romantic ones um but platonic ones too I think I think you know you can become sick and tired of you know friendships as well um but you know what they say like everything runs its course and Sometimes, you know, certain relationships weren't meant to last forever and you can still, you can still, um, be thankful to the friendship that you had or the relationship that you had and you can still, you know, enjoy the moments that you had with that person. But, you know, at the end of the day, like, if, if you're not, if you don't feel comfortable or safe in a relationship that you have with someone then probably best just move along and you know not move along without them <laughs> you know what I mean like I feel like because I feel like the important parts of you know any kind of relationship is having communication and trust and if you don't have those then like what's the point like at that point, you're just two people that are staying together or continuing your relationship because it's something that you've always done and it's not something it's not something that either of you are benefiting from. Honestly, I think it probably causes more harm than good. But anyway, man, sorry, those lyrics just like really hit me. Like not even in a romantic context, but in like, you know, I feel like I feel like this person has also like taken steps to like taken steps to like draw a line with me and it's kind of upsetting to like see it happen and like no conversation is happening about it like I don't know it's just it's just weird to me how like people can just b basically like ghost you <laughs> When you've literally known them for like 10 years, it's just wild to me. So quite frankly, I'm like, I can't, I can't wait to be out of here. But anyway, anyway, yeah, sorry. I just, I was very much felt the lyrics, <laughs> very much felt the lyrics of that song. I also, I also like really wasn't, ex I definitely, I thought it was going to turn into like a, um, I don't know, like, I don't know the word I'm looking for. Um. I thought I thought the beat was gonna get I thought the beat was gonna hit and that it was going to be more like like a diss track, but then it got like even softer and I was like, whoa, I just wasn't expecting that. Um, but anyway, 
let's move on to their performance on Simply K-pop, which I don't know if this is going to be um, blocked or not, but we'll see. So it is Don Kun singing that part. So were they wrong on the on the color coded lyrics? I wish they had made um, Byung Kwan's mic louder. That was a good live performance. I wish, I feel like the mics could have been better though. Like the quality of sound could have been better. But I think given that, I still think they sounded really, really good. I feel like, I feel like this song just like in captures like my situation perfectly. Where like, you know how it gets to like a certain point that 
that a relationship becomes irredeemable. You know what I mean? Like, there's no, like, redeeming their friendship. There's no, like, going back to what it was, you know, at a certain point. Like, it's like when you get the ick, you know what I mean? Like, you guys know what the ick is, right? Like, whenever somebody does something or says something that, like, just gives you the ick and it's an immediate, like, I don't vibe with this person kind of thing. I feel like, I feel like that's kind of what happens. Like, there's just, like, one too many things that, like, give you the ick and you're like, eh, I don't think I can connect with this person in the way that I used to anymore. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how the song makes me feel. Like, there's just no redeeming it, you know? Yeah. I definitely, I definitely think this song is going to be up there for me when it comes to, honestly, I love all of Asa's songs. Like, genuinely, I love all of Asa's songs. I feel like, I feel like Ace is probably one of the groups that I vibe with the most when it comes to their discography. But, um, I definitely think the song is going to be up there with, like, more of their, like, slower songs that I really, really like. Because I, I don't really listen to slower songs too, too often. Like, I'm more of, like, a, a punk or, like, hype beat kind of person. Um, but every now and then I do really like to listen to, like, the softer, slower songs. Um, Talk You Down is... I feel like when it comes to Ace's, like, ballad, like, slower type songs, Talk Talk You Down is my queen. Like, Talk You Down is, like, I love that song. So, so sick might be, like, right beneath that, I think. I just, because I get the song and I, I, like, understand. But, um... Yeah, I definitely, I definitely think it's going to be, I definitely think it's going to be up there for me when it comes to, like, their, you know, slower songs. Oh, stop. Every time I open the video, like, plays automatically. Um, let's watch this part change version, which I'm very interested to see how that's going to go. Yeah. <laughs> Get it, you, Sean. <laughs> yeah i think this is why I, this is why i love watching like fan meetings or like concert versions because i don't know why but like please tell me why the mics and the sound quality is better here than it was on simply k-pop which is a you know like an actual show like you <laughs> Like, you should have decent quality sounding mics and audio. Like, anyway, sorry, moving on. They sound way better. Not not because they sounded like... Sorry, let me explain. Not because they sounded horribly singing in the last video, in Simply K-pop video. It's just because the audio quality wasn't as good. The audi audio quality is way better here, and I can actually, like, appreciate their vocals for what they actually are. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Henrique. Get it, you chan. Sayun keeps forgetting what party has. <laughs> fun honestly for like doing a part change like that was pretty good i'm not gonna lie they did really well i was um you guys know that i have Sayun, bk and junhee's bubbles um and i saw where Sayun was saying that he wanted to take vocal lessons and like get better at his vocals and like I love Sayun's vocals. Like, I think he's a really good singer. I do. Um, but at the same time, like, if he feels that, you know, he wants to improve more, like, 100%, like, go do it. Like, I think, I think even if you're an expert at the craft, at your craft, you know what I mean? Like, there's always going to be room for improvement. So, um, it's like one of those things where, like, I feel that he doesn't have to because I think he's already a good singer, but I feel if it's something he wants to improve upon, then, like, absolutely go for it. Like, test test your limits. Go for it. Um, But I hope he doesn't feel pressured or anything because I do think he's a good singer. I love Sayun's vocal. Like, you guys know, uh, the first time I ever listened to Ace, like, Sayun caught me immediately with his vocal tone. Um, But, yeah. I definitely think I feel so lucky is definitely like a song that I'm gonna vibe to, but so sick is definitely a song that's gonna be up there for me with like the emotional, you know, emotional type song. Um, both were really good though. Okay, guys, that is it for me. Um, I'll be back with I think I'm I think next time I'm going to start Extreme Ace. So I'll be back with Extreme Ace next time. And other than that, I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, be yourselves, and have a good day. Bye, guys.